Hi, I'm Brent. This is a video update on the Mitsubishi Evo SST transmission. I've got a quick opportunity to show you another weakness to help you learn more about your transmission. And if you want to learn about other strengths and weaknesses in this box, do a search here under MRT SST transmissions. So today in the next five minutes, we're going to talk about some of the troublesome fault codes that you get, which causes shift fork error. And this piece of material that I'm holding my hand, and whether my cameraman can see it on the video, I'll put some still photos of it on the uh, link at the bottom of this video, is part of the magnets that detect the position of the shift forks that then send vital information back to the transmission ECU to know what gear it's in to make sure it works reliably. And this box that we've just quickly dismantled out of the car, and we've just got sitting here at the moment on our workshop floor, because um, they're quite heavy, you can see this particular part here is supposed to sit up inside here, which is a is missing. I won't put it in there, but effectively it sits in there. And you can see these magnets here, which are in the right position. Um, but what I want to also talk about is this black stuff is all wear and tear out of the internal part of the transmission that. Um, migrates the magnets over time and then what happens is the magnets don't uh, work properly and then it throws a fault code with the transmission uh, electronics thinking that it's not shifting correctly when mechanically it is but the electronics think it isn't and that is then precipitated by the fact that this filter here which we've spoken about before which is the internal filter within the transmission that can only be accessed by completely stripping the two halves is one of the vital components that filter the oil separately to the external filter which you can get to from the side of the box and i'll just show you look at that just how black that is that is worn out parts of the clutch mechanism and micro parts off the wear and tear off the gearbox material which happens over time but also is made worse when you don't change your oil often enough and as we've spoken before we know mitsubishi is underestimated the service intervals with these transmissions and by simply not changing your oil often enough these types of material builds up inside the box all that black crap migrates to the magnets and then that starts causing uh, shift errors and things like that now in this particular box it had two fault codes but also all these magnets were covered in this um, black material but this particular magnet was actually sitting just on the side of the transmission when we pull the box apart when it's supposed to be mechanically connected inside here so of course the transmission had no hope in hell of knowing what gear it was in so it would work reliably so there you have it if you want to learn more about how to look after this transmission it all stems back to regular oil changes which whilst it may seem a little bit ex excessive in cost and time long term will pay off with a reliable transmission because these transmissions are a fantastic transmission if they're looked after properly you can see just here just how big everything is you know the the cranwell and pinion the gears it's like feeding, feeding them one of the strongest internal transmissions that we've seen in a long time and very very rare to have a mechanical fault but these electronic faults are what everybody complains about and this is the type of stuff that very very few workshops know how to fix nor have they got the tools to fix them so follow us on facebook youtube and twitter um, do a search on our youtube channel for other things that you can learn about your sst transmission how easy it is you need to uh, repair and change these filters, what you need to know about them. And I really hope no matter where you are in the world, this updates will help you learn more about having fun with your car. But for now, I'm Brent Middleton. Thanks for watching.